I don't need you. I like being by myself. So, I always been alone. Hey, listen. That's why when I was in jail, that's why I always, I always, I liked it. Like, cause you see the the jail I was in, you could take like long walks in the forest and stuff like that, and I enjoyed it. Like, like, like it was very refreshing and stuff like that. I learned a lot when I was in there. And that's why I am who I am, cause I came out being a better man. Before I was just crazy. So, you know, they had they had, you know they had like a. Like a little, like a little wreck, like a wreck thing, and you could walk around, and it was in the middle of nowhere, and I just behind the fence, I just stare at the trees, and I'm like, the outside world, world is so beautiful, and I just sit there, and I lay down sometimes, and I just like people come up to me, and be like, what is you doing? I'm like, I'm meditating. So. You know, I always had attention. Always, people always wanted to be like, always wanted to be cool with me and stuff like that, and always wanted to be this and this and whatever the case might be. But I always like, you know, it's like, I never saw the value in, in, in having conversations with people, you know? You know, I never saw the value in having conversations with people. Just me being honest with you, you know. And just me being honest with you. I'm a lone wolf. I am. Um, I'm a lone wolf. That's what I am. I don't want to have short talks. We're going to talk about something. I got to know it's going to be about something beneficial. Just me being real. The real can relate and the fake cannot. I learned to love myself. I learned to understand I'm going to be, I'm going to live a lonely life. I learned to understand that I might go away alone. Well, I am, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say, though. With no, with nobody, no woman, no nothing. Probably, you know, have children and stuff like that. But I'm probably not going to be with the woman. It's probably going to be a fifty-fifty thing and stuff like that. Cause you know, that's just how life is with me, girl. You gotta understand, like. <clears throat> You understand, look, you know, my dad had five baby mamas. Pay up them just want to appreciate it. So, you know, and then it's just like, you know, he was, I can't really say it on TikTok, but you know, he just, that's just what he would do, you know. I did break, I, I did break gener, generational cur- curses. At Victoria, thank you so much, appreciate it. It was hard, you know? It was hard. I don't have five baby moments. Diva, thank you so much, appreciate it. You gotta understand, man, look. Man, you gotta understand, man, look. These, pe- these, these people out here, they're not real. Just gonna keep, I'm just going to keep it honest with you. I'm just going to keep it real with you. You see how the way how people treat me. You see the way how they talk crazy to me. You see how the closest ones talk crazy to me. And I'm venting to y'all because y'all really the only people I got. These people out here, and if close ones are watching me, I don't care what they think. They're not real. They ain't real. They don't care about me. They don't care about my feelings. Man, they'll trade a piece of clout just to talk crazy about me. Seen it with your own eyes. These people out here ain't real, man. These people are wearing masks out here. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes I look at these people and I see that they, 
they got no soul. Like, they just want to, they want to see me fall. You feel me? They don't want to see me win. Like, I always say to myself every single day, they don't want to see me win. They just want to see me lose. They don't want to see me win. They didn't want to see me lose. The closest people around you don't want to see you win. I say it again. The closest people around you don't want to see you win. And you know what's so crazy is that like, did you guys know that you guys are my life? Did you guys know that? You guys didn't know that, huh? You know what's so crazy is that like, you guys mean a lot to me. You feel me? So, if you're trying to tear down what I have, I, I'm gonna feel really bad for you because I worked pretty much my whole life for this. And I also, this is also, this is my purpose. Like, you guys are my purpose. You guys make me who I am today. You guys know that, right? You guys made me who I am today. Right? And I'm just saying on a, like a real, like real authentic level to the people watching me. So if you try to tear me down, you're not gonna hear the end of it and you could take it however you wanna take it. And if the shoe fits, then wear it. I'm not, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna say who it is, and I'm not gonna be like, you know, direct about it. Let me tell you something real quick, guys. This is the realest I've ever been with y'all. I got people, it's been happening for a while, that are sending demonic attacks to me. Because they don't wanna see me win. So what do you think I'm gonna do about it? You think I'm gonna let that happen? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. You think that makes me happy? Keep it real. Or you think that makes me really mad? See, I ain't gonna lie. Look, talking to y'all, I ain't gonna lie, it makes me happy. For real, it does. It does. So, I'm not mad right now. But when the phone is off, and the fake reality is not on, on green, or televised, or whatever how you looking at me as, on YouTube, whatever the case might be, live, whatever, I'm mad. I'm not 27. You create your own hate. Let me tell you something real quick. Listen. When I was in high school, I wasn't even updated the way how I am right now. My energy itself, I had the most, my brother and I, we had the most haters than anyone. And I, I never really, I, re, I never really knew why I had the most haters. I never really, I never knew why, right? I know now, I know now. So,
Imagine now. Imagine now. My energy got loud. Loud. You meet me in real life, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. My energy got loud. So. And how you think I how you think I did it? Cause I'm powerful. You can't knock me down. Don't scare. Who? Who? Don't scare. Who? Why did you sell you girls? You know I didn't sell my girls. You know that. You know why I got white teeth? Simple. Diamonds weren't even that clean. Now, if I got the carrier cut, that's different. But I was rushing it, so I got the honeycomb. The, the simple one. But I got the white teeth because... You want to change stuff a little bit. Not because I had to sell it. Can you imagine me going to a jeweler and, and telling hey, yo, let, hey, buy these diamond teeth? I ain't like, them, them things were nasty. You know what I'm saying? They was nasty. So, this is your source of income. No, it's not. Uh. Cool out, bro. I got you. They look uh, very fake. Okay, so look. When I was to the, when I was in the dentist, they asked me. They asked me, what color, what shade you want? There's A1, A2, A3, A4. A1 is what I have. A2 is like, okay, and then the A3, it, whatever. A1 is what I have. Then they also asked me, what shape you want? I said square. And then they, they, then they had, <laughs> you guys are being funny in the comment section. Then they asked me, they asked me, okay, what style you want? I said Hollywood. So yeah, they look fake to you, but to me, I like the way how they look. I don't want little small little teeth. So when I smile, it looks like small little. Do they hurt now? <laughs> 